Hello. This is going to be weird for me. I'm going to be super awkward, but hey, just got to kind of do it, I think, to get started. <laughs> so I'm, my name's Sam, if you don't know. I sell, I sell vintage clothing. I have done for about five, six years now. Um, and I've, I just thought now's, now's sort of feeling the right time to, to do something new with it. Um, put out some, some videos. Been thinking about it for a while. And it's now just sort of, I guess you just got to do things like this. Just start, get the momentum, and they're going to be a bit naff to begin with. But you know, it's just starting. Um, so I can do loads more on, on me and and what I do and how I started all that jazz. But I think for today, I'm just gonna just gonna show you a few old Nike T-shirts that I've got in. It's just something nice and easy to start off with. So just get some content made and start doing this as a practice. Um, so these are all tags that date around mid to late 80s through to very early 90s. So we're talking 80, 85, 86 to 93, 94. Um, I've got five of them, I think. Is that right? Yeah. Um, two of them will be for sale very shortly on ASOS Marketplace. The others are less for sale, but you know, you can uh, try me. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you them. I'll go from sort of oldest to newest and um, show you a few details on them. If this is something you like, then let me know. I could do some more. So, first one is this yellow and blue just such an incredible colorway super like faded yellow lovely lovely feel it's a 50 50 blank polyester cotton which you can still just about read on the tag it's the blue tag which you really don't see that often i've only come across two or three of these in well yeah five six years um that i've bought so they're really quite scarce now they date believe from mid 80s towards the end of the 80s so I'd date this one somewhere around now 87 88 super thin I don't know if that's going to pick up but you can almost see through it um, lovely lovely feel that single stitch hem that everyone <laughs> loves now made in USA just just lovely I wear this very scarcely because oh, it is a bit a bit delicate bless it and uh, also has a tendency to make me look a bit ill being yellow, but really cool piece, just like just like owning it. Um, again, softest thing. Just do not make these like they used to. I think people sometimes see these, look at the price tag, and are like, "What?" But yeah, it's just you can't you can't compare it to a modern T-shirt in that respect. They're just so much better. Another one, very, very similar. Again, 50-50 blend, pot and co pot. <laughs> cotton polyester. Um, typical of 80s tees around the, that era, late 80s, mid to late 80s. They're all 50-50 pretty much. Again, single stitch hem, made in USA. It's in this sort of pale blue colourway. Um, almost flecked, actually, with a white sort of in there. And then this print is really lovely, like, Great cracking on that. Again, just really bold, super thick, but cracking now, which, you know, is getting on a bit, so it's expected. A little bit later, this one, I'd date this right to the end of the 80s, 88, 89, maybe a little bit into 1990. On a silver, grey tag, there's a lot of debate, or was a lot of debate about what it should be called, but made in USA. Uh, lovely, lovely grey tag, that. But it's, uh, that one is, is for sale. Do not wear it, so going up for sale on ASOS Marketplace will be up within within this month. I think 20th of June, I think, is the drop, but follow my Instagram. Next, kind of a tie between these two, which is older. It's much, much, much just can't really tell. These are getting into the um, beginning of the 90s. This is a Jordan, Jordan t-shirt, Air Jordan. Again, on a Nike blank. Same tag as before, but this is 100% cotton. Made in USA. 
lovely, lovely thick cotton. Again, I'll reiterate, you just can't recreate this now. Like modern t-shirts are just not, not anywhere near it. <laughs> Nothing like these. It's got a Nike screen print on the sleeve. Again, single stitch hem that everyone harks on about. We can we can do a video. I'll do more videos on t-shirts because I really like t-shirts. Nice print, really cool colorway. I think this came out with a with a shoe around the early night. I think it's a Jordan four or five. Someone can correct me then, but I want to say this is like ninety two, ninety three. But again, lovely. Just wear it a lot because the colours really nice colour, cool design. This one, probably same sort of era. Again, made in USA tag. Hundred percent cotton again. Um, this one just a big, big logo. Really nice colours, almost pink, red, magenta colour with this bright, bright navy blue and a big purple tick. Super thick print on these. You just, I mean, you can feel it, kind of hear it. It's like thick. It's nice. And then the cotton blank itself is just lovely. Really thick, really soft. Again, another single stitch hem, which helps date it. But I think yeah early 90s again this one this one will be up for sale along with the blue one um towards the end of the month lovely piece just not my colors really and then this is the the latest one i think you can compare the tags on these this is sort of more of a a canvasy woven feel whereas these are sort of satiny tags uh if you're familiar with like modern supreme tees that's basically the same label Whereas this is a, you know, like a canvasy type feel, a bit more scratchy. Um, made in USA. Still, same sort of era blank, but a tad later. 100% cotton again. This one is the one that kind of feels more like a t-shirt that you'd recognise today. Big, big print. Again, just ridiculously thick screen print. Really like this one, wears a lot, nice boxy fit single stitch again but the fade on it is lovely started out life black and now it's this sort of washed out gray color but yeah none of the holes and flaws that you'd expect with that age just really nice soft wash so yeah that's that's that i've, I've got to say loads more stuff i can show you um, i get stuff in all the time so i can i can share what i find what i come what i have going through and what comes out and gets posted off. So I buy and sell a lot, um, and I know a fair bit about vintage eighties, nineties pieces, some of the early two thousand, early, uh, early two thousand stuff. So I think yeah, got a lot to share. But again, let me know what you want to see. I can do pretty much anything uh, surrounding the the vintage culture and clothes and thrifting in the UK. Want to do some stuff about that? And just talk talk business in a way um, share what I'm going through what I'm doing get a new platform out there I think people don't relate to the people who sell their clothes on, on Depop or ASOS you know just random people but I think we're getting there as more of a culture about it now that's happening so that's good um, you can find me on on Instagram at Ralph's Vintage R-A-L-P-H-S-S-S -S 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 underscore vintage or um, ASOS Marketplace and Depop with the same username minus the underscore so just one word Ralph's Vintage sick right I guess that's it I'll see you around thank you